There are a whole set of problems that have nothing particularly to do with Ukraine that involve the modernization of China's nuclear arsenal, which of course doesn't happen in a vacuum, that involve the march of technology, AI, and how our militaries are going to adapt these technologies because they feel like they have to, and you know, other issues as well, all of which are interactive and all of which can scare you a lot. Since I spent time in the plans division of the Joint Staff, I have worried a lot more about thermonuclear war than at any other time in my life. And that's a kind of a weird answer because we don't think about it as a societal problem. In fact, we background it as much as we can because it's just too horrible to think about, too horrible to contemplate. But there are pathways that have been studied in the unclassified realm about ways that either governments can lose control of the nuclear weapons while the militaries keep control of them, or while militaries can lose control of the weapons while the governments think they have control of the weapons. And the pathways are fairly distinct, but not all of them have anything to do with anything that you see on an episode of 24. And those episodes of 24 are really what drove our security discourse for a long time. And sitting in the background of the global war on terror was some mushroom cloud over a city because of Al Qaeda essentially. And that's only one way that it can happen, and I think it's probably a extremely low probability way for it to happen. But you have processes that have been called uh, inadvertent escalation processes, where because of some combination of the fog of war, not really knowing what the militaries are doing, the tendency for militaries, uh, for a lot of different reasons, to prefer offensive doctrines, uh, which may be difficult to distinguish from defensive intent and then what is called the security dilemma, which is that sometimes states take actions to make themselves more secure but end up making their adversaries less secure. The upshot of all of this, and there's a very good book by Barry Posen on these issues, the upshot of all of this is that um, we may uh, find ourselves in a situation where the adversary is much more threatened than we understand they are before we can really put brakes on the car. And um, I worry about that stuff more than I used to. I also worry about what was dramatically revealed in the Ukraine war, which is the possibility of um, nuclear threats and nuclear saber rattling putting in place standard operating procedures that are prone to accidents. And so this is where Scott Sagan's work, I think, interacts with Tom Schelling's classic works from the 1960s about the threat that leaves something to chance and stuff like that. None of that has anything to do with 24. Thank you.